Hello everybody, B America here with another Redstone episode for you. So today I am going to show you how to create a spiral trapdoor. So you'll see what I mean when I flip this lever here. So as you can see there, this one pulls down first and then it just kind of goes around. So then this one pulls back, this one pulls back, and this one pulls back. And they also raise up like that. So if you watch, then they all close up like that too. So this can be used as kind of like a secret base entrance. Like for this one here, I put slime blocks in the bottom. So then those would be what would catch you. And then you could just kind of like walk off from there. Um, you could even set it up so that you can have the slime block throw you up out of the base. And then these close up behind you. Uh, really whatever you would like. But it just kind of gives a decorative look to your basic trapdoor because the basic trapdoor it's just two pistons on this side and then two pistons on this side and they just drop and pull out just like a basic jeb door except set up as a trap door where this it kind of gives like a spiral look and it it makes it look just a little bit nicer and it's also relatively fast the only reason that it's not extremely fast is because uh, it slows down as you get further away and there's two different ways you can do it so the way I did it was I started from this point here and worked out both ways however I could have made it easier by just like starting the line right here running into this one and then the repeater uh, with one tick and then it would power this one another repeater with one tick power this one and then just keep going um, and that would have made it just as easy this way it just everything was a little bit more compacted to the one side so then this opposite side here you can do a little bit more work with and you can also kind of you know simplify this redstone so that these lines aren't so long but you have to make sure that you have the repeater running into these pistons otherwise you won't get both of them powered uh, you could use a redstone dust but you just have to be careful with where you put the rest of your lines so I'm not really going to go into a tutorial on this one um, because these modules are just kind of pretty simple to build. There's not really anything complex to them. So I'll just kind of go through, explain how this all works, and then kind of the overall design. And it shouldn't be a very difficult build for anybody, even a beginner at Redstone. So the way each module works is you're going to have a Redstone that branches out in two different directions. The one goes into the center piston and it is going to be completely uh, lacking of any repeaters in it so it's just going to go straight into that block and that will keep it so that this setup will be able to pull back both blocks and then the other one will have a redstone or it will be a redstone path that goes into the back of the two pistons and then it will have a repeater set to, it depends on which point you're at, but it will have a repeater set to whatever the current block is, unless you build it where you do the spiral one and then it has the repeater in between to already kind of handle that. So then from there, what we can do is take it out to look at the bigger picture. So. The way I have it set up right here is my redstone signal from my lever comes down and it goes down this here small thing and right here I have it a repeater set to two ticks and that's because this repeater here is already one tick so this is just an additional additional one tick after that and that's also why there is a repeater here because this repeater needs to be matched with a repeater here because of the delays. And then right here we have our repeater with two ticks and that's just the minimum number of ticks that can be on it. And then this also runs to this module which is actually the last of the four modules to retract. And it's set to four ticks because of that but if you come from the other direction this would only have to be one tick and there would just be one tick in between each of the modules. So then the even the redstone would actually spiral around where this one it kind of branches out from either side. 
So then we come over here and like I said, we have the repeater with two ticks and that's to slow down this module long enough so that it can pull in everything. And this can actually be set to two ticks, but if it's set to two ticks, it will pull at the same time that one does. So that's also to help delay with that. So those two together help with that delay. And then we have our repeater set to one tick and then this one four ticks and you can adjust these timings so that your spiral moves at whatever speed you want and if you want to kind of do like individual corners or something you can also do that and the nice part about this is is that when the pistons pull back they're also in a spiral pattern so if you just kind of fill in everything so that you know it, it, it gives it a relatively nicer look than your basic, you know, redstone trapdoor. So it wouldn't really be used as a like trap trapdoor. So you wouldn't, you know, drop somebody in lava with this because their uh, regular trapdoor is a lot simpler, and it's this one is no more effective. And actually, it would be less effective because they would have longer to escape because they can like jump up like that. Where if it's you know, just two doors pulling out side by side as quickly as possible, they have a lot less time to react to that door opening up. So that's when we come to this final one, which is four ticks, and that's because we have three ticks right here. So one, two, three. So that's why this one has to be set to four, and then this is set to four to also lay back as long as that one does. And that just kind of gives it that nicer, the cleaner effect when it pulls. And it also leaves the blocks out for just a hair longer, so you can actually see the spiral as it goes down or comes up. So this was another pretty basic redstone contraption, but it helps give a little bit nicer of a look to your redstone builds that you might not be able to get with just building a basic trapdoor. So I hope this build helps you with some redstone in your own base, and I hope it gives you some ideas on your base, and I hope you enjoyed the video.